When NASA first was formed, they came up with a list of missions that they wanted to see happen for the scientific community. This is the only one that hasn't been done. This version, Parker Solar Probe, I've been working on it for about 10 years. So you're like, whatever happens, happens, right? <laughs> no. you don't, you're not too invested in it. <laughs> everybody, it's Maddie Safaya from NPR and Joe's Big Idea. And I'm here at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and we're going to get an up-close look at the Parker Solar Probe. This spacecraft is going to go closer to the sun than we've ever been before. So let's check it out. Alright guys, we are in the gowning room and we are with Betsy Congdon. And Betsy is the lead engineer on the heat shield which is a pretty important part of a spaceship that you're sending directly at the sun. Why do we need to get gowned up? I mean, we're not going into surgery. This thing's getting shot into space, right? Yeah, but you uh, shed a lot of particles. Oh, yeah, just... um, doesn't sound like me. Size eight and a half? Definitely. Okay. And now we're ready to go into the clear. So why are we going to the sun? Great question, Maddie. Well, there's a lot about the sun we still don't understand. Like, what's going on with solar wind? The sun releases a stream of super high energy particles that zoom past the Earth at more than a million miles per hour. That stream can affect space weather and mess with our satellites. But scientists don't know what causes that supersonic speed. So when you were a kid, were you like, look at that sun, I'm gonna go to it? I always wanted to work on spacecraft when okay. I was a kid, ever since I was a little kid. I did not know what an engineer was, because right. that's just not something you know at five, right? You want to be an astronaut at five, but, yeah. uh, but as I got older, I realized what I really love is engineering. It's getting to take the science and make it a reality. So why is the probe here? Like, what's going on here at Goddard, and what's the next step for this probe? So Parker Solar Probe has been built up over the last couple of years at Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, and we've come here so that we can finish off what we call environmental testing. Right now, they're getting ready to go into what we call thermal vacuum testing. So we'll go into a big chamber and pump it down so it simulates the vacuum of space, and then we put it through the temperature ranges it's going to see at the sun. Now you might ask, how do you get that hot? Yeah, I'm, I was going to ask that, Betsy. Let me do my job, Betsy. I'm not over here telling you how to heat shield. Go on. We're basically hanging this big oven that we've designed over the spacecraft so that then the spacecraft is seeing the thermal environment it will see at the sun. Basically, we're putting it through all its paces to make sure that it can survive, launch, as well as when we get to the sun. The probe will take about seven years to travel closer to the sun than we've ever been before. And NASA will finally complete a mission that was thought up more than 50 years ago. And that's the exciting thing about engineering. You get to take the math, you get to take the science, you get to put it together and build real stuff and make things happen. We're gonna go Check touch the sun. We're gonna go touch the sun. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Skunk Bear, NPR's science show. And check out the last episode of Maddie About Science.